Thank you. And now I would like to call uh, Luis Hernandez Alegado, um, who is going to present uh, new distribution of records of Fejepus species for Mexico and Baja California. So uh, Luis, uh, you can share your screen. I can see it now. So uh, please go ahead whenever you, can... you want. Uh, you can hear me? Yes, perfectly. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, good, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Luis Carlos Hernandez. I am a biologist and I am a graduate student at uh, Ensenada Center for Scientific Research and Higher Education in Baja California. Uh, I am going to present you the work titled New Distributional Records of uh, Filipus Species for Mexico and Baja California. And the team that made this work possible is uh, Sara Checarelli, uh, Luz Abril Garduño Viña Señor, Dariana Guerrero Fuentes, Eulogio López, and me, Luis Carlos Hernández. Uh, well, uh, Baja California has uh, numerous landscapes, uh, climates, and uh, land fronts. And that promotes a mosaic of communities that traverse such extreme gradients as coastal scrub to uh, mountain coniferous forests to lesser vegetation in less than 80 kilometers so is west distance. Uh, Baja California extends uh, 1,300 kilometers south from its border with uh, California, Arizona, and Sonora. And it's the second longest uh, north to south peninsula in the, wo in the world. Uh, has a high number of endemic species, uh, but however, our tropical diversity is poorly known in this part of Mexico. Uh, these different characteristics have allowed the development of a high number of, of endemic species, uh, especially in, plan in plant species and some genera of spiders like uh, Rotilena. Uh, like I say, the diversity of arthropods is probably known in Baja California. Uh, however, there are currently many works in progress like this and, and many others uh, works. Um, and uh, the characteristics of the Baja California Peninsula make, uh, make it a site of biological interest uh, for many groups, including, uh, including the, the spiders. Uh, there are approximately 411 species of spiders in, in Baja California, but most of the archaeological works have been carried out in the southern part of the Baja California Peninsula. And that is why we need more studies about diversity, uh, about the taxonomy and biography about uh, spiders in all possible places in, around the peninsula, especially those sites that have not been explored. Uh, well, uh, here, I, here I am going to present the preliminary results of the diversity of Filipus in Baja California, a new record for Baja California and Mexico. However, uh, this project is still in progress and maybe these numbers uh, presented here will increase in the, in the future. Well, uh, Filipus is a member of Salticid family and uh, the family Salticidae is the most diverse family of all the spiders uh, with uh, 646 genera and more than 6,000 species according to the World Spider Catalog. Uh, this is uh, Philippus uh, species are, are very charismatic for their different colors and their big size and, uh, and their hunting strategies. Uh, there are more than 16 species and according to the World Spider Catalog, uh, uh, approximately 45% of the species uh, is found in Mexico. Uh, this genus uh, is characterized by its uh, post-posterior medianite tops, and some species have iridescent chelicera. Uh, most of the studies we can find about Philippus are mainly morphological and about the physiology and behavior of Philippus. But uh, there are revision and phylogeny uh, of the genus Philippus by Edwards. Uh, and Edwards' work is of great relevance because uh, he presents uh, identification guides and the taxonomic review of the genus. And, and he presented the first phylogeny using morphological data. Nevertheless, there is still a lot of work to do with, uh, with this uh, amazing genera. And it is of great relevance any work of Philippus uh, about the, their diversity and their taxonomy. <clears throat> Edwards, uh, in the Edwards revision uh, for this genus, uh, he presents uh, six species of Philippus in Baja California and 36 species of Philippus in Mexico. The six species uh, present in Baja California are Philippus nikites, Philippus phoenix, Philippus carneus, Philippus californicus, Philippus johnsoni, and Philippus boy. 
Uh, well, the methods, uh, we did the expedition along the Baja California Peninsula in uh, search for spiders uh, uh, of this genus. And, and here I present a, a photograph of the members of the team. Uh, also, we carry out reviews of the morphology uh, of the captured spiders. And, and we performed a DNA extraction for the spiders for obtain the molecular barcoding of the Philippus of Baja California and to obtain a molecular phylogeny of, of the Philippus spiders in, in Baja California. And this, this last part is, is still ongoing. Well, uh, the expedition through Baja California has been in different environments. Uh, we try to cover as much area as possible. Uh, on both sides of the on the peninsula, on the Pacific side and the Gulf of California side. Uh, although the Baja California Peninsula is one of the regions with the best knowledge of spiders in Mexico, uh, there are places that uh, do their rugged topography and and uh, difficult access uh, still remain unexplored, and it is was one of our objectives to reach these places. Here I present some photographs of of some places that that we. Uh, we sample like Magdalena Island, Cataviña, some oasis in, in the south part of the peninsula, La Sierra San Francisco, and uh, coastal dunes in La Bocana. We are uh, we sampling uh, 24 locations in total. Uh, and uh, what have we found so far? We, uh, we found 10 species, uh, five new records are for Baja California and three new records for Mexico. Uh, we found in Baja California, Philippus octopuntatus, Philippus californicus, Philippus johnsoni, Philippus nikites, Philippus adumbratus, Philippus boy, Philippus phoenix, Philippus tux, and uh, the two morph species. Uh, the, the three new records for Mexico are Philippus adumbratus and maybe the two morph species. And the five new records for Baja California are uh, Philippus octopuntatus, Philippus adumbratus, uh, Philippus tux, and the two morph species. Uh, Philippus adumbratus, we found this species in Sierra Blanca, Baja California, and their uh, record distribution is Southern California in the United States. Uh, we found Philippus tux in, in a oasis uh, south of the peninsula, and their distrib the, the distribution is Southern Arizona to Western Mexico. In Mexico, we can find this species in, uh, in the states of Jalisco and Sonora. Uh, the Philippus octopuntatus, uh, the distribution is Missouri West to Pacific States, south of the northern Mexico. And the new records is in Valle de Guadalupe and Baja California. Uh, we found these species in the refugees in, in Bainayar Stakes. Uh, well, the first morph species, uh, this species was found on Magdalena Island, which is located on the western coast of the Baja California Peninsula in the Pacific Ocean and has a length of approximately 90 kilometers. These individuals was, uh, of these species are found in, we found them inside the agave plants and maybe it's a new species, but we still don't know because we capture only juveniles and, and we need to, to grow up these individuals. But morphologically, it seems to be a new species. <coughs> Uh, this species was, this second morpho species was found in Punta Colonet, so to Ensenada, and is found in an area with a coastal screw. Uh, the individuals of this morpho species also were juveniles, so we could not perform a complete morphological check. Uh, however, in the, in, the, in the preliminary results, like the first morpho species, uh, it seems that this morpho species is not grouped with any other, so possibly it be, can be a new species. Uh, well, uh, the, the conclusion of, of these uh, preliminary results that it's possible that the number of species will increase in the near future if, if we're considering the species recorded in Southern California, Sonora and Sinaloa. In Baja California, uh, the records may rise to 17. Uh, and these results expand our knowledge about the distribution of uh, five species of Philippus. Uh, however, it's necessary to continue carrying out morphological revision and for some individuals to reach the adult stage uh, to confirm that they are two new species. Uh, and we found in total 10 species, but we have not found uh, Philippus carneus, 
And, and Filipus carneus ma uh, males, it's found in the summer and fall, and females, it's found every month of the year. Maybe we need to do more uh, field work in these seasons to, to find uh, Filipus carneus. Well, uh, thanks for your attention, and I, I, I like to thank you the American Arachnological Society, uh, y al Centro de Investigación Científica y Educación Superior en Senada, eh, al Consejo Nacional de Ciencia y Tecnología, and all of the members of the Filipus team. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Luis, for your very nice talk. Um, if anyone has questions, you can put them in the chat right now. Uh, I see that Brian is clapping on his video. And um, why don't you, um, ah, uh, Sebastian Echeverri is asking if you have seen any of the courtship of this new species. Uh, uh, no, I, 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 uh, we don't, uh, we don't know the, the the courtship of this new species. But we we still grow up this species, so maybe uh, maybe in the in the future. <laughs> so I understand that you have the juveniles, and you're trying to obtain adults from the juveniles that you collected. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, uh -huh. We try to to obtain the adults. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, Bruce Cutler is asking if there is any sign of Philippus audax in urban areas. Uh, we don't found this the uh, this species in in urban areas, but uh, we we need to do more more field work. Uh, uh, maybe maybe we can find. It. Yes, you're getting a lot of compliments in the chat. Uh, we still have time for questions. Uh, ah, Gita Bona is asking, uh, which habitats do you want to do more sampling in? Uh, can you repeat the question? I, I don't see in the chat. Uh, which habitats do you want to do more sampling in? Like with what, what habitats you want to, to sample next? Uh, well, uh, we need to do more more samples, uh, more more sampling locations, but uh, we, we need to do more sampling in the island for uh, for collecting more more individuals because we only have for the island uh, I, I think uh, three three individuals, and in the part of the Gulf of California. Yes, I, I was going to ask something similar. Uh... Uh, do the, the species occur in different habitats? Like, uh, are the species that are more from dry areas and species that are only found in, in, in more humid habitats, like oases and, and things like that? Or, or, or all species are widespread? Uh, well, uh, some species are, are widespread, uh, but uh, in the oasis, on, uh, we found Philippus tux in oasis, only in oasis. So maybe, maybe uh, this species like only the oasis. But but Baja California have, have uh, different environments, but uh, but with uh, very very similar characteristics. So I don't know if I, I, I answered the question. <laughs> Yes, Marshall Hedin is saying that they also have two new species of Habronatus from islands of the Madalena Bay. A different genus, but also new species. Yeah. Well, um, so you're still getting compliments in the chat. Uh, well, we, if we don't have any more questions, then I think we will move on to the next presentation. So thank you so much, Luis, for, for the talk and the questions.